This is my place. It's a tent. 25-year-old Dallas Kelly who lives here with his girlfriend. We only like to home the shelter because it's too packed or sometimes uncomfortable for some most people. And people like the, or most like couples and all that, they stick together. But these, they can't sit together into the homeless shelters. The camp sits along a gravel boulevard at the edge of Prince George's downtown. It's been dubbed Moccasin Flats. 90% of the people here are indigenous. I feel safe. These are all my friends. But last month, there was a shooting. And today... Anna, hey, there you go. Hey, there it's Jordan. You had a bit of an overdose, and we had to give you some Narcan. But you're okay here. Jordan Stewart's nonprofit group works to prevent overdoses. There are very few programs that are available to, to meet the needs of individuals who have been chronically underhoused for extended periods of time while coping with the traumas of addiction. Prince George is a hub city. People come here for social services from across the region. We need facilities up here, not down on the coast. Then we can serve northern BC better. Up an adjacent embankment is another neighborhood. Kelly Moffat's home overlooks the tent city. My husband sleeps with a baseball bat, and he has chased many people out of our yard. Diane Nakamura lives a few doors down. I feel like I am imprisoned in my home. Um, I'm afraid to go for a walk by myself. In recent months, vandalism and crime has increased around their homes. Hi. Hi. Come on. Come on. That said, they have mixed feelings about a solution. We really want something done about the homeless situation and the fact that nobody should live like that and nobody should be without a home. Lots of people agree this camp should be shut down. A few feel that'll be good enough. There's a call for the city to do more to help these people find permanent housing. But the city says the provincial and federal governments need to do more. Major political party platforms include proposals for recovery beds, universal basic income and rapid housing. The reality is, is that there aren't beds available for those that are in need of, of help and support. If you're living on welfare here, you're not making enough to be able to support yourself. It's not a problem that gets solved overnight. It's complex. No one actually mentions an end to homelessness. And I think I know why, because they don't, they don't know what to do. Advocates say existing outreach services don't meet the needs. There is no stock of available and affordable housing in Prince George, um, and the, the shelter systems come with many limitations. Honestly, I don't have much confidence in this election. Next week, the city will go to court for an injunction to shut down the camp, forcing its residents out on the street or to another neighborhood. Bell Puri, CBC News, Prince George.